it's about hepatitis serology all uh, the ops and gynae doctors should know about the hepatitis serology because when a patient comes with a report of hepatitis serology it is very important for every doctor to understand that based upon the different antigens and uh, antibody levels um, given in the report okay so let us start this video okay first of all you need to understand that we have three antigens in hepatitis serology and those three antigens are hbs antigen hbc antigen and hbe antigen okay hbs antigen as the name indicates hbs is basically hepatitis b surface antigen you can see this uh, uh, virus picture of hepatitis and you can see on the surface we have uh, hbs antigen okay so antigen on the surface of the virus is hbs antigen and it shows an active infection okay whenever hbs antigen is positive in the report it means that patient is having active infection now whether that is chronic infection acute infection whatever that is um, that is something different and we will understand that thing from the different um, parameters in the serology but hbs basically if that is active it means that patient has got the disease patient has got active infection second antigen is that hbc antigen okay and um, hbc antigen is basically a hepatitis b core antigen and you can see in this figure the green portion the core and hepatitis b antigen is located on that core okay so about hbc i would like to say that it can't be detected as it is present and is safe inside the core and only hbc can be detected okay so hbc antigen cannot be detected but anti hbc can be detected okay so in the serology report we don't have hbc antigen okay we have anti hbc but we don't have hbc antigen now coming to the third antigen that is hbe antigen you can see outside that core the green core we have uh, we have a red uh, circular line that is basically a sort of envelope around the core okay so hbe antigen is hepatitis b envelope antigen something about hbe antigen hbe antigen is produced after c antigen is formed and it and it indicates active infection as there is active replication of the virus after its production so there is high risk of transmission okay so if e antigen is positive it indicates that there is high risk of transmission now incubation period of hepatitis b is average um, 90 days range is 60 to 150 days now let us understand this uh, graph in acute infection you can see that we have uh, hbs antigen and hbe antigen okay hbe shows that the patient has got very high rate of transmission okay about acute infection it is written that first antigen produces hbs antigen then hbe antigen first antibody produces anti hbc igm or igg igm indicates acute and igg indicates the chronic infection now come to this figure acute infection hbs is positive then hbe and first antibody produces anti hbc immunoglobulin now next to hbs antigen hbe antigen and anti hbe what comes next next the answer is that anti hbe so all these things come in order and now come uh, to this graph it is uh, written that anti hb is produced after hbe antigen falls to its baseline okay so you can see from the green uh, line um, in the arrow you can see that the uh, hbe antigen level is falling and as a result of that anti hbe is being produced so you have to remember that an hbe uh, antigen goes away when an anti hbe arrives when anti hbe arrives then the antigen of e goes away so in acute infection number 1 uh, hbs antigen number 2 hbe antigen number 3 anti hbc um, immunoglobulin number 4 anti hbe now what is the last antibody produced answer is anti hbs you can see from this figure hbs antigen hbe antigen after that uh, we have anti hbc then anti hbe and in the last anti hbs so remember this order 
in other word and thbs arise when hbs antigen goes away okay in the same way um, as we discuss in case of the e antigen uh, when hbs um, antigen goes away after that of the e antigen the s antigen goes away and so when s antigen goes away uh, then anti hbs arrives so let's revise HBS antigen means sick for hepatitis B acute or chronic HB E antigen mean easily transmissible HBC antigen not detected usually now anti HBC antigen shows ongoing infection IgM acute or IgG chronic type anti HBE antigen anti easily transmissible or low or transmissibility anti HBS antigen mean anti sick immune from or recovery from vaccination so all these things come in order let us revise in this finger number 1 is hbs antigen number 2 is hbe antigen after that anti hbc um immunoglobulin after that anti hbe and in the end anti hbs now examples to test yourself example number 1 HBS antigen is negative. Anti HBC is negative. Anti HBS is negative. So what is that case? I would suggest you to pause the video, think about it, and see the answer after that. So it indicates that patient is susceptible because HBS antigen is negative means there is no active infection. Anti HBC is negative. It means no ongoing infection. And anti HBS is negative means no immunity is there. So it means patient is susceptible. Let us discuss the example two: HBS antigen negative, anti HBC positive, anti HBS positive. Now let uh, I would suggest you to pause the video, think about it, and then check the answer. Okay, so the answer is that person is immune due to recovery or natural infection because. and uh, hbs antigen is negative shows no active infection anti hbc is positive it means ongoing infection anti hbs is positive it means that immunity is present so person is immune due to recovery or natural infection example 3 hbs antigen negative anti hbc negative anti hbs positive think about it pause the video and then check the answer the answer is person is immune due to vaccination hbs antigen is negative it means no active infection anti hbc is negative it means no ongoing infection and anti hbs is positive it means that immunity is present so person is immune due to vaccination example 4 hbs antigen positive anti hbc positive immunoglobulin anti hbc positive anti hbs negative So the answer is acute infection because uh, you see that uh, HBS antigen is positive. It means that active infection, anti HBC is positive. So ongoing infection is there. IgM anti HBC positive means acute ongoing infection, and anti HBS is negative. It means no immunity is there. So it is um, acute infection with no immunity. Example five: HBS antigen positive, anti HBC positive, immunoglobulin anti HBC negative, anti HBS. negative answer is chronic infection because hbs antigen positive means active infection anti hbc positive it means ongoing infection immunoglobulin anti hbc negative it means no acute ongoing infection anti hbs negative it means no immunity now these are some table which shows interpretation based upon the different markers you can pause the video and check it and this is another video this is another um table this is another table okay and that is again the graphic presentation okay now exam question mother uh, in hepatitis is hepatitis b positive which marker increases chances of vertical transmission or which marker shows high infectivity okay we have all these options and the answer is uh, hepatitis b and um hb e antigen shows high infectivity so thank you so much for the patience i tried to explain it very simply and you can pause the video to have better understanding of this topic okay thank you so much love is